Aloha and mabuhay. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, your host for Pinoy Power Hawaii. We want to thank you for uh, joining us live here at the beautiful ThinkTech Hawaii Studios. Uh, we come to you every Tuesday at 12 noon. Today we have another very empowering show in line with our mission. We aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain. And the big picture for us is we hope to empower. It's the women's empowerment, and it is a pleasure to have a good friend, uh, BFF, uh, the owner of Isabella's Boutique. I'd like to introduce to you Erlinda Tusa Kaoyan. Hello, good day, sis. Good day, sis. Thank, Thank you, you for, for inviting me here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for uh, being here and uh, for your willingness to uh, uh, want to share your success story. Uh, you know, we, uh, I myself was born in the Philippines also, and uh, you have your uh, beginnings that we want to share with others. Uh, of course, I want to congratulate you on your success in uh, being one of the uh, forefront of helping make uh, women beautiful, not only in our Filipino community, <laughs> but uh, over all Hawaii and throughout mm -hmm. the world. Yes. Uh, thank you for uh, your empowerment. Oh, you're welcome, Sis Emmy. So and tell us a little bit about uh, you and how you got started. From my business? You're yeah, about, yes, or? but uh, your uh, upbringing, Muna, and then uh, Mamaya, uh, so Familia. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Uh, my name is Erlinda Susa Tawian. I was born and raised in the Philippines. And I arrived here in Hawaii since 1990, and mm -hmm. it's not an easy to start a life here that we have in the Philippines because it's really <laughs> totally different. Uh -huh. You know, I almost go back home 1993, 94. Uh, talaga, na homesick yeah. ba? It's not only homesick. Mm. The way you know, it's hard to adapt. Yung the lifestyle here in the U.S. that you have to do everything by yourself. <laughs> Ayan, welcome yeah. to the real world, sis. <laughs> yes. uh, kasi sa atin, kung uh, merong kang kaya, uh, di ba, you have the life of, uh, of course, a pampered wife. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And then when you arrive here, you have to do everything. And, you know, you have to work hard to mm -hmm. make everything, you know, possible. So you learn to multitask, no? Yes, uh -huh. I learned that. But no. it, it was a shock that uh, how, how do uh, uh, women uh, make it as a mother and... I know, but uh, for me, uh, instead of using that challenges in a negative way, I mm -hmm. used it in a positive way. Mm -hmm. So I always think that, you know, I can make it. I can do this. Yes. So that's my mentality. Uh -huh. So raising four children is not easy. And sending them to school, it's not really easy to live here in America. So, but I prove it wrong. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, uh, everything can be, you know, possible. Mm -hmm. And everything, you can do everything. With a proper mindset it, yes. of uh, not giving up mm -hmm. and uh, always uh, striving to do your best, no? Yes. I think the, the main important thing is you have to have a big goal or big why why you want to do it mm -hmm. you know i think that's that's the most that's important. the foundation yes no uh -huh. other than that you know it will not happen it's easy to uh, just it's give just, up yeah right mm -hmm. uh-huh or you could have taken the young know, easy way out na babalik ka na sa pilipinas because uh kasi dyan ang yung comfort comfort zone mo yes. no mm -hmm. yeah so um uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your pampered life because uh, when others think of uh, the Philippines, third world countries, uh, they think of the talagang mahirap na buhay, but in your case, you were one of the lucky ones. Sa Pilipinas po, hindi ko naman masasabing uh, mm -hmm. it's hard to live in the Philippines because, you know, well, in even other country, you know, you have to work hard to mm -hmm. have a better life. You know, mm -hmm. ano sa Pilipinas. Kaya lang, we can afford to get maids, we can afford to have drivers, we can afford to, 
you have know, a cook. Yes, uh -huh. and do everything for us. Right, right. And right. us, you know, we just come home and eat and not uh -huh. doing anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that alone is a big difference. Yeah. You well, know, raising your children, mm -hmm. you don't have to wake up at middle of the night to and feed them. Or, there's the yaya yeah, that does yes. that, no? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. So this is the biggest adjustment adjustment here in Hawaii. Well, and it's really hard. Uh -huh. Well, it, it's it's uh, difficult, but uh, for some of us that grew up uh, doing the things that we need to do to survive, it's natural uh, to us. But in your yes. case, you you grew up with those luxuries in life, and that's why I enjoy going to the Philippines. If I may mention that, uh, I take about two to three weeks and just kind of live uh, the lux luxurious yes. life. I always want to go back home, uh, you know. <laughs> Kasi, mami, miss mo rin yung maraming ano, na, ano, sa Pilipinas na wala dito sa atin sa uh -oh. US. So, like what you said, yung pampering yourself. Mm -hmm. Na, you just rest, you don't do anything. Right, right. Everything is, you know, given to you. Everything uh -huh. will be served to you. So, True. Yun ang mamimis talaga natin sa Pilipinas. Uh, talaga. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, let's uh, go back to uh, all the adjustment that you needed to make in order for you to survive and uh, to make it to prove uh, to those that were doubting your ability mo that you can make it work wherever you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, katulad nga ng sabi ko, you need to have a big why or big goals in life mm -hmm. in order for you to succeed. Kasi if you don't have that, I don't think na you can go or move move forward if you don't have that. Yeah. So for me, mm -hmm. it's really a big challenge because uh, way back 1991, having four children is not easy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, you have to. I have to work two, three jobs. Mm -hmm. And ng sabi ko, in the Philippines, I never tried to work that hard. I never even. I don't even know how to clean yard. <laughs> And here in the U.S., uh -huh. I was able to clean yards uh -huh. just to survive. Right, right. You know, and I'm not ashamed to, to share this to everyone mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because if I can do it, they can do it. Too. Right, right. You know. So you went from cleaning people's yard to cleaning people's house. Too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, back home, yes. you had somebody, somebody doing that for, house. Yes, for you. <laughs> yeah. So it's really hard. And back then, you know, having four kids and then I have full-time job mm -hmm. and then I have another part-time job right and another part-time job during the weekend mm -hmm. we clean houses we clean the yards yes and even my children is helping me mm -hmm. you know they are my strength to do all these things so even but, the kids got into the act of yes. uh, helping so that's why my children are very responsible mm -hmm. to their life you see they know every penny that we earn is from our sweat mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it talagang, didn't come easy yeah yeah. Hindi hindi nila naranasan yung buhay na um spoon fed. Oh, uh -huh. You have to work hard. You for, want something yeah, in life, you want no? something. Okay. So, kaya ngayon I'm, you know, kaya ko sina share to sis M is mm -hmm. I want to encourage all the women out there mm -hmm. na iisipin nila na oh, you know, I have these kids. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. Mm -hmm. Kasi mm -hmm. ang katwiran ko if I can do it, you can do it too, right? Right. right. Mm -hmm. So, Living in America is, you know, it's nice to live here because you have all the luxury life here that right. you can have. The opportunity. Yeah, the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And, but the difference is yung pampering ourselves in the Philippines mm. is totally different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yun ang pagkakaiba niya. Uh -oh. So, ini-encourage ko nga yung, yung mga kaibigan ko, mga mm -hmm. nakakakilala sa akin from the beginning mm -hmm. na, kung talaga meron kang dream, mm -hmm you know, makukuha mo yun dito sa US. Oh, oh. Yeah. Kasi, ano eh, yung bang nandiyan na yung opportunity sa you, just grab it. Mm. I ano mo lang, i-apply mo lang sa sarili mo. And oh, then, oh. You know, you, you can, you can live Make it like, happen. Yeah. Okay, so that brings us uh, back to how you started with Isabella's Boutique. And, uh, well, what was the main driving force, main reason why, uh, sis, that you started or, or to want to make women feel beautiful okay uh, i started this after nung mag-graduate na yung mga anak ko ng college mm -hmm. lahat sila apat sila so i have to think about myself now it's oh. my my time to it's your time yeah it's my your time season to take care of myself so mm -hmm. one day we went to a party and then hmm when i walk into in the hall 
Meron kaming, I think dalawa, tatlo kaming, we have the same outfit. Talaga? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ako. So, I have to go back home. Uh-huh. So, yun na nangyari sa akin. Na. So, I started thinking of something. Mm-hmm. So, that's how I started my boutique. Mm. So, nag, I started in a small business, in a small, you know, room. Mm-hmm. And then, um, ika nga, lumaki siya ng lumaki. Na, even now, hindi ko rin inaasahan na, Ganito ang mangyayari na people will, you know, accept me in this fashion industry. Mm-hmm. So, in this fashion world, you know. Kasi ang kakompetensya mo is a big department store. Uh-oh. All the brand names. Yes. All these, you know, um, expensive clothing. Mm-hmm. But I think um, the difference is uh, when you go out there, you're not scared to walk in the big room mm-hmm. that you have somebody wearing like the same as you, you know, mm-hmm, your outfit. Mm-hmm. So I think yun ang pagkakaiba ng, yun ang nasa isip ko noon. Oh, oh. So, I have the guts to start, start this mm-hmm, business. Mm-hmm. Yun ang ano ko. Yun, parang siya ang pinanghawakan ko na magiging successful ako dito oh, sa oh. business na ito. Yes. And I know you have uh, a lot of women, professional women especially. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, they come from all walks of life. Uh, like the doctors oh, and yes, the lawyers. Plenty uh-huh. doctors. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, they want to uh, look uh, professional and also give that uh, uh, that impression that they have power and uh, influence. Mm-hmm. So yes. that's what you help them do with confidence, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. And a lot of your creations are unique and tailored to that woman or that individual. Yeah, we have plenty of repeat customers mm-hmm. that uh, they keep on coming back. Kasi um, before, they don't think na they can afford expensive, you know, clothes or mm-hmm. gowns or. But kung makita nila yung yung fitting sa katawan nila, Uh-oh. they're really happy. Yes. Compared dun sa mga expensive brand name. Uh oh. Sabi nila, this is more more comfortable na isuot nila, and they don't we they don't have to do any adjustment mm-hmm. or any alteration. Mm-hmm. So, so, talagang na tailored para sa kanya. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And you really feel good about uh, wearing it because it's made just for you. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, those are the uh, extras that uh, one can expect from uh, Isabella's, Isabella's Boutique. boutique. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you got the name for your boutique. Oh, I named my boutique um, mm-hmm. for my my first granddaughter mm-hmm. my only granddaughter mm-hmm. Isabella mm-hmm. and she I love her so much and mm-hmm. she's you know she is my inspiration mm-hmm. while I started you know doing um Isabella's boutique I said you know I want something um parabang this is my legacy that I want to give it to my granddaughter mm-hmm. when she grow up right na, right she can help other people too. She can help the young generation to, you know, to have their own style. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, you uh, want to leave that legacy behind for your granddaughter, yes. Isabella. Mm-hmm. A beautiful name, by the way. I know. Uh, Thank it you. It sounds, sounds so glamorous and uh, classy. Uh, She's like Lola. She likes bling bling. <laughs> Yeah, she's okay. fashionable, mm-hmm. good girl. Uh, with that, we will continue our conversation. Isabella's Boutique can be found at the Westgate Shopping Center in Waipahu, and we will tell you more about it. I want to thank my guest, uh, Erlinda Susa Tauya, the owner of Isabella's Boutique, for uh, being here with us to help us with our empowerment. We will be right back. Aloha, I'm Gwen Harris, the host here at Think Tech Hawaii a digital media company serving the people of Hawaii. We provide a video platform for citizen journalists to raise public awareness in Hawaii. We are a Hawaii nonprofit that depends on the generosity of the supporters to keep on going. We'd be grateful if you'd go to thinktechhawaii.com and make a donation to support us now. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, host of Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. My show is based on my book, also titled Beyond the Lines, and it's about creating a superior culture of excellence, leadership, and finding greatness. I interview guests who are successful in business, sports, and life, 
which is sure to inspire you in finding your greatness. Join me every Monday as we go beyond the lines at 11 a.m. Aloha. Welcome back to Pinoy Power Hawaii. I am your host, Emmy Ortega Anderson. Thank you again for joining us. We're going to return now to our conversation with uh, my good friend, Erlinda Sousa Taoyan, the you, owner sis. of uh, Isabella's Boutique. So uh, we were talking about uh, your desire and uh, your legacy that you want to continue and hopefully leave it with your granddaughter, yes. Isabella. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What were some of the uh, challenges early on uh, when you started the, the business? Uh, were there uh, times when you were challenged? Oh, yes. There's a lot of challenges, you know, Sis Emmy. Mm -hmm. Because starting a business is not easy. Mm. You have to have the passion mm -hmm. to, to do it. You know, and That's really, really important. Yes. Yeah. And you, have to, you need to love what you're what doing. What you do. Because if you don't have two of them, it's really hard. Kasi parang um, ang iniisip mo pala, how can I do this? How can uh -oh. I make this? Uh -huh. Pero kung if you have the, the passion to do it, mm -hmm. very smooth mo nakukuha yung, ano mo, yung gusto mo. Mm -hmm. yung, At, uh, yung sa business mo para bang, uh -oh. you, you're happy na mapaligaya mo yung ibang tao. Oo, oh, oh. It, it's a priceless feeling mm -hmm. uh, that uh, you feel deep inside when uh, someone says, wow, I look this good. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And you know that uh, you've done your part in uh, creating that uh, one of a kind of million dollar feeling, no? Mm -hmm. uh, para sa return clients. Mo, yes. No? Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, uh, tell us a little bit more about, uh, you know, the design, uh, the creation. How do you go about creating an outfit that is unique to the individual? Well, first of all, if I meet the person, I have to look on the, you know, on their body shape, body type. And mm -hmm. I have to ask them a lot of questions, you know. Mm -hmm. Ano mga favorite colors nila? Mm -hmm. Ano ang comfortable yung susuotin nila? Mm -hmm. Kasi kung wala yung mga kulay na yan, yung kung kahit na you design something, but mm -hmm. if the customer is not comfortable wearing it, yeah. it's, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. Kasi, it's not a match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kasi... Uh, kahit anong ganda ng gawin ko sa iyo kung hindi ka komportable, mm -hmm. hindi mangyayari. Oh, Kasi oh. kahit na anong ganda niya, kung deep inside of you, you don't uh -huh. look good. So it's hindi hard. Hindi tama. Yeah. No? Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. So kailangan you want to and then you can carry yourself mm -hmm. when I make a creation for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yun ang ano doon. Kasi kahit na anong ganda niya, lagyan mo man ng maraming dekorasyon. Mm -hmm. If you cannot carry yourself, it's hard. Mm -hmm. That's uh, really, yun ang, really... Yun ang big challenge sa akin. Mm -hmm. Kuminsan, um, customer is having hard time mm. na kung ano ang gusto nila. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's hard just to guess. So, parang puzzle din yun na binubuo mo sa kanya, oh, oh. sa customer mo. Uh -huh. So, ganun ang nangyayari sa amin. So, until na slowly, nabibuild up na yung confidence na sabihin niya sa iyo mm -hmm. kung ano yung gusto niya. Mm -hmm. So, from there, nag-start kami sa scratch. So, hanggang sa mabuo namin yung gusto niya. Mm -hmm. Um, so, we will call customers na ilang beses for fitting, mga mm -hmm. adjustment para oh, oh. maging comfortable siya. Those are the extra work yes, and extra, work. Uh, extra service that you do to mm -hmm. make them happy. Yeah. But we don't charge any extra charge. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's really, really important. <laughs> yeah. And nowadays, uh, mm -hmm. it's hard to find a place where they don't charge extras for those extra things that we need most. I think uh, that's why Isabella's Boutique is unique is we're spending time to our customer. Mm -hmm. Really showing that you care. Yeah. yeah. Yun ang number one na naririnig ko sa customer namin mm -hmm. is, you know, we spend time to, with mm -hmm. them. Uh, so, who are some of the uh, designers that uh, you emulate or uh, who do you give credit to your success? I know you have one uh, individual that you also credit for supporting you all the way. Of course, first of all, my husband, Ernest, mm -hmm. and he's always there for me. And he is... Um, well, every time I have a design, he tells me if I need to adjust or anything. So, mm -hmm. he's my number one critic. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, he's your silent partner. Yes. Uh -huh. So, she is always behind my back to, you know, tell me, okay, this is not good. This is... Mm -hmm. So, and also, of course, uh, my sister, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she helps me a lot. And if there's 
something that I need to be done right away. Mm -hmm. Sister for me. Sister for uh, you. No, uh, Sister Ampi. And of course, Ate Nati, Ate Christine, they're, mm -hmm. you know, a good, you know, uh, employee that um, Cora, too, they really work hard mm -hmm. and they don't complain. They serve our customer really good. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really important to have a good team yes. uh, to make sure that you deliver the things that you promise to your clients, mm -hmm. no? Mm -hmm. uh, I think the, the um, secret part is you have to treat your employee good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that Parang, they will... It's just like a one big family. Mm -hmm. So they feel comfortable with you. Ayan. Yeah, that's a mm -hmm. uh, uh, key ingredient mm -hmm. of uh, anyone's success is to uh, treat others that are around you, that are supporting you, mm -hmm. uh, the way that you would want to be treated. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't know. We have an upcoming uh, event, a fashion show, A Mother's Love. Uh, coming up uh, tell us about that and other uh, shows that you've done in yeah, the past yeah um, we have you know a um, fashion show coming in, in on uh, may 11 mm -hmm. but before this last year we also did a fashion show and the benefits goes to um saint paul church mm -hmm. so we're doing this not for us mm -hmm. it's to help others we're reaching out so last year we helped um saint paul church uh, this year, we are helping, you know, the cancer patients mm -hmm. and the people that, um, the scholarship, of course, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so, and your foundation, yes. so we're helping a lot of people. Yeah, it's about uh, empowerment and mm -hmm. the uh, uh, orphanage always, uh, there's a special place in my heart for them. Mm -hmm. So when they ask for additional help, I never hesitate because I know I have people like you that are also willing to give and share mm -hmm. uh, our blessings yes. uh, mm -hmm. with others. So I want to thank you for that opportunity to, to work together with you. Mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, we have uh, many people supporting us and uh, backing us up uh, all the way to, including our KP, our PP, and our Power Cup Familia. So I'm so grateful for that. Of and, course. Uh, mm -hmm. Without them, you know. Yes. You know, nothing will happen. <laughs> That's right. Okay, important the yung uh, talagang teamwork na talaga, yes, no? Yes, it's a teamwork. Mm -hmm. Katulad din ng Isabella's buti kung mm -hmm. wala yung ating Isabella's team, wala din po tayo. So, mm -hmm. give and take lang po mga kaibigan. Yes, that's uh, really, really important uh, that uh, we uh, make sure that we also take care of uh, the others. Mm -hmm. But uh, more so, our topic this morning with my daughter, Jamie, uh, really, really important to also replenish, uh, recharge. Uh, we need to take care of ourselves. Yes, so, of What do you do to uh, uh, re refill your cup just so that you can continue uh, serving? Anong uh, uh, talagang extra extraordinary na ginagawa mo para sa sarili mo? Well, um, now I started going back again since na sa gym. Mm -hmm. So I started uh, thinking of myself now. Mm -hmm. Not like before, it's like, Work, work, work. 24 hours. Yeah, 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So now it's like, I give time. I go socializing. Mm -hmm. So that's number one, to meet other people. Too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice. And we spend time together, me and my husband. Mm -hmm. So just me and him alone. We just go out. So sometimes we just go in McDonald's, just have, you know, ice cream. <laughs> just to talk. <laughs> and just so, to yeah. share quality time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So kasi hindi, you don't have to go in this expensive restaurant. Right. or in expensive, you know, uh, tour uh -huh. to spend time together. Right. You right. can just go someplace and, you know, have a talk. And, uh -huh. you know, it's, you know, the quality time, like what you said, uh -oh. is uh -huh. really important. Okay. So, um, in addition to uh, what you're doing, helping uh, women uh, feel and dress uh, comfortably and beautifully, uh, what other things that you might want to do? Uh, are there other things in your bucket list that... Uh, you would like to try or perhaps uh, want to work on? Well, in business, you mean? Or in for, business in or personal, any other or in part any, of your life? Well, uh, mm -hmm. one of my, in my bucket list is uh, this year I want to go back again to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I want to look more into, um, like, you know, in the, the Philippine maids, like, uh, mm. you mga, yung mga small businesses sa atin na like yung mga gumagawa ng mga crop. Mm -hmm. So, I wanna explore that and then bring it here to United mm -hmm. States. 
-hmm. yun, ang, yun ang nasa bucket list ko na if I can do this, mm -hmm. I can help other people to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yun ang nasa bucket list ko ngayon. Mm -hmm. And of course, yung mga tinutulungan po natin sa mga Pil sa Pilipinas, uh -huh. yung mga scholarship natin doon, gusto ko rin mamip sila. Mm -hmm. And yung mga tinutulungan natin mga senior citizen, uh -huh. mga nangailangan ng tulong, mm -hmm. so I wanna meet them. So ang another bucket list ko, uh, sis, is mm -hmm. to have, you know, yung sa mga kapuspalad sa atin na walang mga trabaho. Mm -hmm. So, I'm looking for something na mabigyan sila kahit ng konting trabaho mm -hmm. lang. Mm -hmm. Kung ano ang kagaya na magtatahi, mag, mag, to learn something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, for, start from there. Wow. Those are uh, nice, yeah. uh, wonderful uh, dreams that uh, we would like to see happen. Yeah. Um, Yun ang palaging iniisip ko yung mm -hmm. to help others. Hindi right. lang about myself. Kasi, uh -huh. if I see them happy, sis, I'm mm -hmm. happy. Yeah. That's priceless, no? Yeah. Kasi it's not all about money, ang happiness. Uh -oh. eh. About seeing someone happy. Uh -huh. That makes you happy. That brings you enjoyment. Yeah, it's a priceless. Uh, there's a part of me that would like to uh, revive yung, uh, para yung old-fashioned na weaving uh, sa Pilipinas. Oh, yes. Ngayon, yeah. wala na yung kanyan. Konti na lang. At least, oh. Kasi ngayon, mga ano na lang, mga machine ang ginagamit nila. Mm -hmm. Pero if we can go back again, we can start that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, maraming mga, mga dapat na matutunan sa atin sa Pilipinas mm -hmm. na hindi nakikita ng ibang tao. Oo. Oh, oh. Yeah, yun well, ang gusto kong start. Would like to help you uh, do that, sis. Of course, so. sis. Okay. <laughs> We're partners. <laughs> All right. So, with the one minute remaining, uh, please uh, invite our audience uh, for our uh, big uh, May fashion show. Okay. Um, please help us po uh, for our incoming um, fashion show on May 11 at Pagoda Hotel. You can call us um, 808-375-6225 and 808-285-0830. So, and the, and ticket po is only $60 and meron pong dinner yun, fun dance, at saka marami mga door prices. Mm -hmm. So, um, you can help yung mga cancer patient po. You can help um, yung mga scholarship namin, mm -hmm. yung orphanage. Yes. You know, all this benefit po, it goes to people that are in need. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank you for being a part of our empowerment. Uh, it is always uh, good to uh, have someone uh, that is dedicated, committed to uh, helping others improve their, uh, their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And you've done that, sis, and for making women feel uh, beautiful in fashion. Thank you so much, sis, for her inviting me here. Thank you again. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Aloha. <laughs> All right. We want to express our gratitude. Uh, thank you again for joining us for another uh, great episode of Pinoy Power Hawaii. Again, our mission, we aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower. And with that, we say maraming salamat po and mabuhay. <laughs>